Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's quick video on Azure, I'm here to talk about versioning of your blobs within storage account and uh, how it can help you. So you might be in a situation in which your application is reading or writing data to a blob within a storage account and that application might corrupt or delete uh, that blob within that account and you might want to go to the previous version. With versioning enabled, it will help you to achieve that. Now in order to showcase that, I have a storage account with the name BVSA101. So let me just go inside this. And the first step will be to enable versioning. So for that, you go to data management and go to data protection. And this is the button you have to select, enable versioning for blobs and click on the save button. So with that done, let me go to the overview button. And for this, we are going to create a container to see how this actually works. So let me just create one with the name container 101. And in this container, I'm going to upload a small file. So with that file uploaded, let's go and expand this. And if I go to the versions, as you can see right now, I don't have any version. So what I'm going to do is let's go and click on the edit button and uh, let me just make some changes. So it has a content file one. I'm gonna also say file two and let's click on save button and refresh. Now, if I go to the version, you can see that uh, we have a version. Let me just further change it. I'm going to further edit it and say file three and click on the save button. Now, if I go to the version, you'll see that I have another version here. So there are two versions Then each version has a unique ID. So this is the ID. So this one you see is the latest one. So if I go and expand this, you see I have a tamp stamp here and uh, you get the version ID right this shows which one is the latest one now you might think that uh, what is the difference between versions and the snapshot now one major difference I can tell you is that snapshot you will achieve it by taking snapshot manually or your application uh, doing it manually whereas version it is automatic as you can see that whenever I'm deleting or even uh, writing that to, to that specific blob within the storage account it automatically creates a version so let's further test this out so let's go and say I will delete this blob let's go and delete it right so if I want to see where my deleted blob is I can just go to and enable show deleted blob and you can see that uh, I have the status deleted and if I go and expand this I can go to the version and here I can go back to whichever version I want. So going back to the example of the application where it's reading and writing data and accidentally deletes that blob or something happens, you can go to the previous version. And as I said that every blob and any changes that you made, whether it's deletion, reading, writing, it will create a unique version ID for that. So let me say that I want to go to this version. So I'm just going to pick this and go to make current version. If I go to edit button, just go back here and let's see if I go to the edit, you see this are the three files that I had uh, initially. One thing I just want to point out is that you just need to be mindful of the pricing. So whenever you create a version, basically, there is a file, there is a basically it is consuming uh, data within the storage account. So you need to be careful of, uh, uh, you know, the storage account charges, which are is applicable. Because if I go here, you see that uh, this is the size of the data. So as you make changes, that many versions will be created. But something of uh, uh, use I believe in case you want to change your version because of uh, application has deleted or it has got corrupted it is a great way of uh, going back or reverting back to the version you want I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day